Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll learn how we can create an organization asset library. So friends, before we proceed with creating an organization asset library, let's understand what does it mean. So friends, uh, in your organization, everyone needs to store and manage files for all our users to use. So we can specify one or more document libraries on the SharePoint site as an organization asset library. So basically you can create a two types of organization asset library. The first is images such as photos and logos. So when the user will add a web part to any modern page in the SharePoint and that web part will open the file picker. So the user can select your organization and in the left pane, he will get an option to browse the library you have specified. Then the second type of organization asset is office templates. So in your organization, when the user wants to create a new office document, they can select the tab for your organizations to see available templates In office template. There are following templates which are supported. Those are the word, word template, Excel template and the PowerPoint. If you want to use those template in your client application, so you have to install the Microsoft 365 app version 2002 or later is also required for that. So friends, there are a few things which we need to note, like for the organization asset library to appear to a users in the PowerPoint on the web, the user must be assigned a Office 365 E3 or E5 license. So the organization asset library is, is not available in Word on the web or Excel on the web. It is only available for the uh, PowerPoint. Once you will set up the organization asset library, it will take up to 24 hours to be appear in your uh, desktop apps. The templates which we can upload in the organization asset library are that as I've informed the templates of Excel, Word and PowerPoint and their extension will be like for the Excel, the extension will be Excel TX and for the Word, it will be dot DOTX and for the PowerPoint, it will be POTX and user must have at least the read permission on the root site of your organization for the organization asset library to appear in your desktop application. So friends, now let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can set up and create our organization asset library. Okay friends, so we have, we are logged in in the Microsoft 365 admin center. And one thing which I missed in the previous part, like the all organization asset library must be on a same site. You know, you cannot deploy the asset library in multiple sites. There will be only a single site in which you can deploy or in which you can create your asset library. So I will click on this and now let me go to the SharePoint admin center in the new tab. Let me open it. Okay, friends. So we are now on SharePoint admin center and let's create one site dedicated for our, our organization asset library. So let me click on create. Let me click. Let me quickly create the communication site for it. And I will give it a name. Okay. I have, okay. I have give it a name org, org site library and let me enter the owner for this site. Let me enter my name. Okay. And now we are good to go. Okay, friends. So our site is created. Let me open it in a new tab. All right. And now let's start creating our organization asset library. So first of all, we'll click on this gear icon. We'll go to site contents. Now let's go to site setting under site collection administration. We have, okay. So we have site collection feature here and on site collection features will go all the way to down here. We have video and rich media classic. So we have to activate this feature. All right, let's check. Okay. So you can see the feature is now activated. Now let's go back to our site. I will go to my site contents. All right. So now here we have to create our asset library. So before creating that, uh, what I will do, I will create a template of PowerPoint to be displayed in our organization asset library. So I will minimize this and I will open my client app of PowerPoint. So here is my PowerPoint app. Let me open it. All right. I will click on blank presentation here. As for your organization requirement, you can create a template. Say, for example, I will simply create one template. I will give it a name. Okay. So I'm not doing much, much on this PowerPoint template. I've simply give it a name, my org template. 
let me click on file i will click on save as browse okay i will save it on documents and in save as type i will select it and here i will select powerpoint template okay we will save it now let's go to document i will close this on documents you can see our template is now saved if i will show you the extension of this template i will click on properties you can see it's potx as i informed you earlier the the extension of the powerpoint template should be potx not pptx let me cancel it again we'll go back to our sharepoint online site okay here you can create your own document library or either you can simply click on new we'll click on app and on app we have to click on classic experience here if you will scroll down you will find asset library so we'll simply click on it we will give it a name okay i have given a name asset library let me create it all right so you can see our asset library is created let me open it okay so now inside our asset library for our organization now here we will upload that template so i will click on upload i will click on files and on documents i have saved my template let me open it and upload it here okay so you can see our template is now uploaded now we will open our powershell and we have to run a couple of commands to set up our organization asset library so let me minimize it let me open my powershell let me maximize it okay let's enter our first command which is connect dash spo service all right let me provide the url of the my sharepoint admin center we have to enter the credentials here okay let's sign in all right now we are connected to our spo admin center so now if you want your organization asset library to be available in your in your office client application so you simply need to type a command add add dash spo spo organization asset library space library url and let me copy and paste the library url okay so this is our library url till asset library space dash org asset type office template library and now we'll press enter okay it will ask you are you sure you want to perform the section performing the operation add a new tenant cdn origin or target this so yes we want to proceed i will press enter okay so here we will get a message like we haven't given everyone except the external user read permission on the document library so first we need to do that so i will minimize this okay i will click on share here i will enter my group everyone except the external okay and read permission is selected let me click on share okay so here you can see like we have given everyone except the external users the read permission now we'll go back to powershell and we'll try to execute the same command once again press enter type y confirm and you can see we got a message like document library added successfully so now our organization asset library is successfully set up okay friends so now what we'll do we'll try to log in with any our internal user because we have given everyone except the external user permission on this organization asset library now what we'll do we'll try to log in with our different user in our browser and we'll see whether we are able to see this template on powerpoint or not okay so friends i have logged in using my one of the user credentials which is ritika and let me open powerpoint in the new tab all right and here you can see we can now see our asset library over here all right let me double click on it and you can see my organization template is now visible to my user ritika so now ritika can come here and can use this template 
So now Ritika can use my organization template to create further templates for our organization. So friends, that's how we can set up our organization asset library. However, in the client application, it will take up to around 24 hours for this asset library to be available there. So you need to wait for that. Let's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.